today I thought I'd do something a little bit different so I decided to do a video on the Sansui uh, G77X and uh, the frustration of getting the tone board out of it um, since I bought this about a month or two ago I've had the tone board out of this about probably about eight or ten times and uh, so far I haven't broken anything so that's a good thing so the first thing you want to do is semi gently pop the slider knobs off and after you do this a while actually after the first time you do this it's always a good idea to to put these back on with some Vaseline and generally you have to Vaseline the metal to metal contacts inside the sliders too um, that helps them move a lot more smoothly generally spraying lubricants into the into the sliders uh, doesn't really help anything because the friction point is actually in uh, the metal to metal contact of the sliders but anyway after you get them off Now you got to get this shield out of here, and after you take this shield out about a dozen times, actually probably about five times, you'll find out that the screw doesn't work in the bottom anymore, where it's screwed into the power supply board. So then you have to make a new screw for it. <laughs> So, once we get that out of there, and this is going to be difficult at best to see because it's really crowded down inside there, and the camera's not going to want to look in there, but there's the shield. So then it's all a matter of luck. How easy does it go? Um, on the slider board, you got three catches. You got a catch on each end, and then you got a catch in the middle. The secret is to get all those catches undone without the previous catches redoing themselves and reseating back in. And there's a little bit of science to that. And it does help. If you have, let's see if that can be seen or not. I can't tell what this camera is looking at. It helps if you have it at a right angle to yourself. So the first thing we do is take our finger and reach up on the corner edge of the slider board and gently push up on the first catch until we feel that corner come back and while holding that corner back then the real tricky part begins you have to get the catch in the middle and there I got the catch in the middle while still holding back on it to keep it from falling back into place and then it gets a little trickier but what I've learned to do is stick the screwdriver down in the corner there and that'll hold the, the two catches that you got from going back into place. So then just put your fingertip on the corner, the left hand corner of the front board and push up on the last catch while pulling back with your finger. And there it pops. So the easy part is getting the backboard to let go because it's only on two catches on the top. So if you push up on the first catch and pop that one, 
and then pry up on the set, second catch and pop that one. Now your board's free. And there is one little troublesome connector down here in the corner. <coughs> it's under the speaker switch. That can be a little tricky to get out sometimes. But if you get a little tiny screwdriver in there, hold the wire with your thumb while pulling back on it towards the circuit board and then pry up the catch on the connector and it pops off. But there's barely enough room to get the connector off the pins. So we got that off. That's just a little two conductor. But in the process of getting that off, these redid themselves. So we just have to undo them again. Now it's just a process of wiggling the whole mess out of there. And then you can only bring it up so far. It's a real pain to work on if you don't want to take the entire thing out of the unit. And there, now you can unfold your slider board from your tone board. And down here in this corner, in the right hand corner down here there is a uh, four conductor ribbon that goes down to your power supply uh, sometimes you have to undo that connector if you undo it you can get a little bit more freedom in this board um, sometimes I do sometimes I don't it depends what I want to change on the tone board but uh, that was getting the board out and uh, once you do it a couple times, it gets a lot easier, and um, this has held up really well. I've had it out of here so many times, um, and the clips all still work perfectly. So, I hope somebody can, uh, I hope this can be helpful to help somebody with their Sansui 77. I appreciate you watching. Thank you.